It's a brand new day and currently it's 829 January 10 and it seems that it's gonna rain today. Today is a hot and humid day because it's gonna be maximum 30 degrees Celsius and because I'm not feeling that well, I'm sick. I'm resting at home today, not going anywhere. I've even done a sick call at work because I'm not feeling well, so I'm not gonna be very productive. So I just thought that I would just lie down on my couch with some AC and fan on and then just rest the entire day so that I'm more rejuvenated for the work tomorrow. So what I'm gonna be doing is just gonna be resting and not doing anything, just gonna be lying down maybe watching some movies and sleeping it off having some coffee that's just gonna be it that's gonna be the entire day i've already freshened up the only thing i need to do is my morning ritual because sick or not i always have to do that okay hopefully this extinguishes itself because oh it did one go nice okay bye it's just gonna be him and me for the entire day, but he's too busy sleeping. That's what he does pretty much all day, every day. I'm just gonna have some tea and biscuit before I take a quick power nap. This is gonna be my breakfast. I think I slept for an hour. What I'm gonna do now is I have this S23 Ultra that I've been using for the past couple of months. So I'm gonna change my SIM card from this S23 Ultra to the Nothing Phone 2 again, because it's been six months that I've had this and on and off I've been using this. So I wanna daily drive this for maybe another week or two and then maybe make a video about it in my tech channel of how it's been in the six months when I'm using this on and off. Also, I might need to double check if I can find a case for the Nothing Phone 2 that has MagSafe. Similar to this S23 Ultra MagSafe case, this I got from some Asian store. They had this and it's quite good because my iPhone's MagSafe also automatically attaches to it. It's not as strong as the iPhone's MagSafe, but it's good enough. So I want to get something similar like this for the Nothing Phone 2. I'll check that maybe in about a few hours when I feel a bit more better. Also, there seems to be an update waiting for me. This is the improved overall glyph light playback effect when synchronizing with your device's audio. And the other one is resolve freezing issues caused by the app locker in certain scenarios. It's a 210 MB file size. So let's download this and see what improvements it actually brings. It just seems to be like a minor enhancement or a couple of the bug fixes, but let's just download it just so that you know the phone functions much better than it did. To be honest, in my entire ownership of the Nothing Phone 2, I've never had any issues. This has been good camera. Yes, I think the the camera can be much better. It is certainly better than the Nothing Phone 1, but it's not on par to, you know, the high end like the S23 Ultra. Obviously, the price range is completely different, so that's understandable. They might have had to sacrifice on the camera quality just to have the price much lower than the S23 Ultra or the iPhone 15 Pro Max or the normal iPhone 15 Pro. Yeah, let's install this and see if I can notice anything else because I have been using this on and off, so if there is some major difference, I would be able to tell. So here's the Nothing Phone 1. I got this during the launch day of the Nothing Phone 1. I had pre-ordered it and I also ordered the Nothing's official case for it. And the one thing I regret about this is like, I should not have gotten the case. I should probably have, you know, use some third party case cause this actually goes yellow and you probably can see it in the video around the corners. It's gone real yellow because of the daily use. Cause every time I buy a new phone, I use that and daily drive that for two weeks, if not more. And the Nothing Phone 1, I was daily driving it for a long, long time than two weeks because this was something very new. And for me, it was kind of unique especially because of the glyph lights for some it was gimmick but i really thought that you know like this is interesting nothing like this exists in the market so i was really liking this and carrying it was like a conversation starter because everyone would be like oh what's that phone because it kind of looks like an iphone because of the shape and most of the time because i carry two phones one is an android phone and the other is an iphone and every time i thought i was you know grabbing the iphone on my bedside table right there i was always grabbing this and because of the case i had this case on the nothing phone one and i used to have like a plastic case similar to something like this Apple's official case, like a white case on my iPhone. And I would always be confused because it felt the same because of the exterior of the case. And I would always be thinking I'm grabbing the iPhone, but turns out I was grabbing the nothing phone one. So yeah, it was kind of really confusing, but for an Android phone, for the price point that this came in, this launched in, it was really good. And this was the first ever phone for the nothing tech company. And I think it did quite well. So if you look at these two devices, you should be able to tell the differences, at least the visual differences. Nothing phone one is a darker color than the nothing phone phone 2 and the nothing phone 2 also has these separations on the led light compared to the nothing phone 1 and the nothing phone 2 is a little bit more curved on the back compared to the nothing phone 1 which is a little bit hard to tell but if you look at it you can visually tell those apart apart from that it looks very similar if you put any other case than a white transparent case it's going to be really hard to tell the difference between the two but usability wise obviously the nothing phone 2 is much more smoother much more powerful than the nothing phone 1 i think when the nothing phone 1 launched i did have a 
good experience, but I was constantly experiencing lag and performance issue when like operating some of the apps. It didn't feel as smooth and every scroll in the app also kind of felt laggy because of the Snapdragon 788G Plus or something. Maybe I'm getting the processor wrong, but it had a really outdated processor, but that was because they wanted to keep the prices low. But with the Nothing Phone 2, the performance is really good because it has the Snapdragon 8 Gen 1, so it's quite smooth and it is on par with the high-end performance of the Samsung S23 Ultra or the iPhone 15 Pro Max still now in 2024. But the only thing that's lacking is, at least for me, is the camera because the camera is not that good in a well-lit condition. Like for example, if I take a photo today, it's gonna come out real good because the lighting conditions are not too bad. But when it's nighttime and I take a photo with this, it's not gonna perform as good as the Samsung Galaxy S23 Ultra or the iPhone 15 Pro Max that I'm using to record now. Today's vlog just became like a tech review kind of thing, but it's not a very technical review. It's just like, you know, what you as a user would really like to know and what's really gonna add value for your day-to-day -day use. So it's not really technical, not focusing that much on the technical specifications. Okay, as the update is being installed on this, I also inserted my SIM card here. So now you can see the network bar right there and the SIM card has been taken out of the S23 Ultra. So this is gonna go back into my drawer for a couple of days. I think I'm gonna daily drive this for the next two to three weeks, if not four weeks. And then I'm gonna fall back to my S23 Ultra. The only reason I would always fall back to this is because this has a much bigger display, much brighter display and it's big. So that's really convenient for me to be using it for daily. And also I have this MagSafe case. So whenever I'm driving out and about it's really convenient for me to mount this on my MagSafe charger on my car and as well as the iPhone MagSafe that I have right there on the bedside. It is 1 p.m. which is lunch time and this dude right here is sleeping right in the middle of the bed and he's taking my spot. He's taking the other side of the bed as well. He just wants to be right there in the middle and not leaving much space to me. Why are you here Hermes? Why? Why? So it's 2 p.m. and I'm feeling hungry. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to head down to the food court to get something to eat because I don't want to prepare anything here at home because I'm really, really tired. I don't know if there is a word for it, but every time I get out of the house, I always fear that I might not have the keys, even though I'm holding it. Yeah, I just got the chicken snack pack. So I'm going to go upstairs and quickly eat this and probably nap a little bit. A few hours later, it's 7.50 p.m. So time to do my nightly ritual. So currently it's 8 p.m. on the dock and the sunset is looking amazing. When I look at it from my own eyes i can see the pinkish hue mixed with the blue hues the camera is not doing much of a justice but what i'm gonna do now is i'm gonna end the video right here because i'm about to have dinner so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna start the time lapse so that you can enjoy the time lapse thank you for watching this video this far i'll definitely see you again tomorrow till then just enjoy this time lapse and i'll see you tomorrow peace check off your list of goodbyes you're sick of saturday nights when i call you you ain't got time You waited for hours when if I told you when if you I told you no see you tomorrow You can say your last goodbyes I never take what you say from the bottle Looking sideways but how am I the 